Hey, what's poppin' YouTube? It is your boy True. This is Kick Knowledge, and I appreciate you guys tapping into the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about a hidden gem, man. A sneaker that is flying under the radar, and it is gonna be dropping again. And you guys need to cop this sneaker. I'm gonna give you my reasons why I think you need to cop this sneaker. Now, a lot of time, us YouTube content creators, sneaker creators, we tell you guys, cop a sneaker, cop a sneaker. But I'm telling you guys, the resale is not that great for the sneaker. It is a very dope sneaker. And in my personal opinion, I think you needed to add it to your collection, especially right now before the prices go up on the sneaker. Today, we'll be talking about and reviewing none other than the Air Jordan 1 Low in the Bread Toe colorway. Let's talk about it. Alright, so before we get up into this content, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button if this is your first time tapping into my channel. Head over to IG, follow your boy on IG at Kicknology, and also hit that like button, share this video, help your boy out, man. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, we are steadily climbing at a slow, steady pace, but hey, I appreciate each and every one of you guys subscribing and listening to your boy. Today, we will be talking about a sneaker that is going to be dropping on the 13th at 10 a.m. So, depending on what time I get out this video, it's probably going to be a little bit late, but hopefully it gets it to you guys before 10 a.m. Eastern Time, and it will not be on the sneakers app, and I will show you guys on the phone where exactly it's going to be but this is going to be the air jordan one low in the bread tote colorway like i told you guys extremely dope sneaker but let me show you guys a box real quick it's just going to be your standard jordan one box as you guys can see right here this sneaker did drop once before already it was dropped in uh the first week of december if i'm not mistaken this was a size 12 that i ended up hitting for retail the retail price for this shoe was a hundred dollars gym red white and black so let's put that out of the way because I've already done a review. The link will be somewhere right here. But so basically, it's just your Jordan 1 low in a bread toe colorway. It's not the starfish low or the neutral gray material, but it's, it is not bad at all. So if you do not know what the bread toe Jordan 1 looks like, this is the OG colorway of the bread toe Jordan 1. This is the high. This shoe was extremely dope. Look at look how much I wear. It's creased in the back. But it, it gets the, the name bread toe because. Both of the toe boxes are in that bread toe colorway and then the upper changes to the white. So you can see the two uh, compared to each other, the back ends of them. Of course, you got the wing logo on the small, on the low, and then on the high, you have the OG Wings logo on the side. So yeah, man, that is the thing for the sneakers, the comparisons real quick. But as you guys can see right here, I'm going to give you a quick 360 view. Um, you see the Jumpman logo on the front. You got the bread toe right there. You got the shiny leather on it. You know, you know, shiny leather. So as you go on the inside of it, exact same thing. Black sock liner. Uh, right, red on the bottom. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So the reason why I went through this video today is because I feel like nobody is talking about this sneaker. It is going to drop on the Nike app. Not the sneakers app. So sometimes Nike does this. They do this a lot with the mids and the uh, lows. But I'm going to show you guys. If you open up your Nike app, this is what you're going to see right here. You're going to go to the upcoming drops. So if you click on that, once you go to that, if you scroll up, you will see the upcoming sneakers. You see what I'm saying? So you see it right there. You press that and you want to put. make sure that you put on here to know that it's one of your favorites. You see what I'm saying? So if you put it on your favorites right there, then it's going to automatically show up on a day of release. And it's going to, you also want to hit that notify button right there. If you do that, then it will notify you on the drop. So like I said, it's going to drop at 10 a.m. Retail is $100. In the grade school, is like $80, $80 as well. So the reason why I'm telling you guys to cop this shoe right now on StockX is going for like $180. But that was because I do feel like that's because they knew that the initial release was going to drop right now. So we're getting the initial release. After that, this colorway, once this died down and you cannot get this off of the retail site, this colorway will go up in price. You know, I'm not sure about how much because I don't do the, retail, the whole resale thing. But you won't be able to get this shoe no lower than 180 200 bucks you know what i'm saying and that's a, that's on stock x so you're looking at 180 you're looking at 220 easily for a low you feel what i'm saying so is the value where you think it should be two three hundred dollars probably not but if you want to get your hands on this shoe for a hundred bucks to be able to rock a colorway especially if you do not have this one right here 
not having this one right here this one would be a great addition so that's two reasons right there to get it for retail the resale value you can definitely make your money back off of this sneaker especially if you hold them and then if you do not have the OG colorway and you just want something to rock in the low that's a that's a dope colorway that is a great reason to cop this shoe and then also price point is at a hundred bucks if you're looking to cop this sneaker you're looking at about five six hundred bucks you know what i'm saying give or take the website the size and stuff like that a hundred bucks for not the same material now listen to me and it is a low it's not the same cut but if you want to get just the og colorway that they gave us this would be a dope addition to add to your collection you feel what i'm saying so like i said make sure you guys are aware on the nike app that they do drop mids and lows periodically it's a lot of stuff that's going to be on there uh, they dropped some linen mids the other day that a lot of people slept on i don't mess with mids so um so, hey to each his own but um a lot of people and they sold out instantly and this shoe would not be easy to cop on the app just this just let you know put your payment information in out of the gate make sure everything is lined up because i'm telling you guys it will not be an easy cop it's at 10 a.m you're probably gonna get a lot of um error messages when you're trying to add your payment and stuff like that so make sure everything checks out and then at 10 a.m be prepared be ready because it will be a leo a first come first serve drop this will not be a draw on the sneakers app but hey you guys let me know down in the comment section also if you walk into some of your local stores like hibbits and jd sports and um jimmy jazz some places are actually going to have these sitting on the shelf but i guarantee you they won't be sitting for long you feel what i'm saying so if you have a connect at any of these local stores ask them are they getting these in and you might be able to get your hands on it but hey outside of that y'all let me know what y'all think about the air jordan one low in the bread toe colorway hey very very dope in my opinion glad i got it in the collection um but yeah i appreciate you guys tuning in as always rock what you like that was hype watch them hands man and remember these shoes behind me this shoe right here it's just bait or for me to share my faith hey good luck on this release i'm gonna catch y'all next video peace <laughs> Right now I'm on the beat, known to be Brother Moore, spitting for the king You can kick it with my team